we are going to be doing a little stock market recap on today's session. So what I'm going to be taking a look at is the NASDAQ 100, the triple Q's ETF. Now, this absolutely got smoked today. So nine and a half points down, two and a half percent on the day. This thing has pulled in significantly from all time highs of 408.71 all the way trading at $370.55 on the close. So there's one key significant area um, that we really need to focus on. That's going to be $369. There is no if, ands, or buts about it. It's been a clear line in the sand ever since we tagged it here on the 10th of January. And the reason why this is so significant here, if I pull up my drawing tool, you can see all of this consolidation that we had going all the way back to July, all the way into August. This whole box that I just outlined here, this was uh, a consolidation period where it was acting as resistance. We would come down, it would act as resistance. We tried to chop around, came down to the 50 day moving average. And finally, when we got above it is when we were able to really significantly see a nice push. Now, when we did come back to do the back test at this breakout, we broke down. So anytime you get a breakout and then it breaks below the previous um, consolidation here, this resistance should have acted as support in the past. However, it did not. We came crashing down. So when we came back up to this level once more, it was not even a hiccup. And then we just screamed higher here all the way up to 408, which is a pretty significant move. Uh, this was a decent pullback here. Nice little dead cat. Decent pullback. Nice little dead cat. And now it seems like we're finally starting to roll over. And here we are yet again at this level. So there's one of two things that are very, very significant that are going to happen. If this market is going to somehow find the floor, if this market is going to, you know, start to recover, there's a lot of stocks that are down tremendously. AMDs down at $131. Tesla down at uh, 1,030 coming off those highs of 1250. Nvidia has pulled in significantly down to $259. Amazon $3,100. Zoom 157. The list is gonna go on and on and on and on and on. So with that being said here, this level is going to be key and it's not just gonna be key for tomorrow, but for this whole week. So what we're going to be watching here on the triple Qs is now that we're down at this area, we need to keep an eye on the futures overnight and into the pre-market. Now that we're down into this previous area here where I've got this red trend line, we need to see, do we get some sort of a dead cat bounce tomorrow? Okay, now here's what's gonna happen. If we do see some sort of dead cat bounce tomorrow, okay, we get a dead cat bounce tomorrow. Here's what we're going to be looking for in Thursday and Friday's uh, session. If we start to chop around and lose this zone from the dead cat bounce, and this level does not hold, and any time this week we lose this 369 and start to break below, We've got rising support here at the 200 day moving average, which we have not tested in. Let's see the last time we tested a 200 day moving average. I don't even think we've tested it in the last year. Yeah, we have not even touched the 200 simple moving average here. So with that being said, this level is gonna be very, very significant, 369.32. I know if you guys are holding some stocks, you guys are feeling some pain, you guys have to just you know kind of hang in there, average down a little bit on your position. Things will really start to get shaky in this market. We'll see 15, 20% correction possibly if we lose this whole zone here. Okay. This is the last stop. This is the last stop before the train, you know, goes from the East Coast to the West Coast, goes from the West Coast to the East Coast. There's no more stops here. This 365 is the last level. Um, that needs to hold up. So the bulls absolutely need to hold this level. What I would like to see here is now we get a push off. Okay. We get some sort of little dead cat bounce tomorrow. We get this nice push off maybe Thursday, Friday, consolidate around higher over this level. And maybe going into next week, we see that initial second attempt rally to get that push off. Now here's what's going to happen. If we do not, let's say tomorrow we get some sort of dead cat rally. Uh, in, the, in the gains do not hold. If the gains don't hold going into Thursday and Friday and we start to trickle down and start to lose this level, we're going to come back down here and test 365. And this is going to be the potential loading zone here where a lot of people are going to be talking about the market's going to crash, the market's going to zero, buy puts, buy puts, buy puts, and we might chop around this 200-day moving average for a little bit here. And then before you know it, 
We're going to be reclaiming 369, reclaiming 380. And those people that have bought these puts down in this area because they thought the market was going to zero are now going to start to get squeezed out. And we could have some, you know, middle first quarter, second quarter rally. Okay. That's scenario number one. Now here's scenario number two. We get some sort of dead cat bounce tomorrow and we get no sort of follow through and come crashing down here to uh, the 200 day moving average, right? So we come down here into this 200 day moving average. Maybe we consolidate Thursday and Friday and now we get a high volume day selling pressure that cracks and closes below the 200 day moving average. This changes everything. This would spell 15% correction across the board. This would also spell that this 200 day moving average now on any sort of rally or dead cat is going to act as a level of resistance and put the bears in control for further choppiness downward action. So this is definitely what we don't want to see. We do not want to see uh, the triple Q's lose this 200 day moving average okay so that first test that we have coming up is going to be to, between tomorrow and thursday and it's that 369 okay bulls really need to hold 369 the longer we can hold this previous uh resistance area this previous consolidation the better we can hold this area this time again the easier it's going to be to start rallying back up to the upside now just keep that in mind the only level that you really need to be looking at right now on the triple Qs, if you're playing anything like Apple, Tesla, AMD, Airbnb, NVIDIA, um, Amazon, Netflix, any of these big mega cap growth stocks, uh, if you're playing any of those stocks, set an alert for 369 when it goes off. Did we hold or are we breaking through? If we're breaking through, there's only one area left to uh, to defend for the bulls, and that's going to be 365. So we have to let the data play out. Today was a fantastic opportunity for traders to the downside. Um, with that being said, I hope all of you guys covered your positions because you never know, right? We could wake up in the morning pre-market. The market can completely gap higher, and then we can have this nice little dead cat and kind of squeeze all of those short positions, um, squeeze all those shorts out of their positions and, you know, feel a little bit of pain. So today was a fantastic day to ride your puts. Today was a fantastic day to short your stocks. Just cover at the end of the day because in an environment like that we're in right now, it's very hard telling to see, are we going to continue the slide? Are we going to get that bounce? Every time we're getting those bounces, they're quickly getting faded. And then when we do get these aggressive pull downs, you know, we get those those rallies the next day. So, you know, um, it is what it is. If you guys want to join my discord, that link is down in the description box below. Also subscribe to my channel. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think about the NASDAQ 100 and the triple Q's. Let me know what stocks you guys are currently holding and or trading. Um, let's kind of take a look at those stocks together and I will see you guys all in the next video.